Hey folks, John Head here. Welcome to another edition of my vlog. Today, as I mentioned in our last market update, I have some exciting news uh, coming forward and a new introduction. And that's gonna take place today and then a few other little off the chart kind of interviews coming up in the next few uh, podcasts, as I'm calling them. They're really not because you see us fake, our faces talking, but my vlog uh, introductions. And today I get the opportunity to uh, introduce to you Bobby Lawrence. Bobby is not new to the area by any means, but new as a primary resident here on the Outer Banks. And I'm going to let Bobby kind of give a brief introduction of what led he and his wife Diane here uh, initially and what ultimately made them maybe purchase a home here and become primary residents. So Bobby, tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you here. Thank you, John. Well, uh, my wife and I started vacationing down here at the Outer Banks probably 25 to 30 years ago. The first time was, was probably in the early 1990s. Uh, we were living in the, in the Philadelphia suburbs at that time and we, we rented a house in Nags Head for a week. And uh, our family is a beach family, so uh, before we knew it, uh, vacationing at the uh, Outer Banks was a, was a staple for the Lawrence family. Um, my background is in pastoral ministry, so you know, we, we moved shortly thereafter, maybe two, three years later, down to the Nashville, Tennessee area. Of course, most of our, our friends and, and neighbors down there would meet the, the Gulf Shores or the Gulf of Mexico, their vacation, beach, fest, beach vacation destination. So what made, let me ask a question. So what made you, Steve, want to keep coming to the Outer Banks? Well, we, we just loved it that much, that it was worth the extra six hour drive to, uh, to, to come to the Outer Banks. Nice, that's awesome. And how, you know, you say you rented in Ag's Head, but then ultimately you ended up purchasing here. So how, how did you make that transition and where you wanted to be? Well, um, I mean, we were, we just, we just loved it so much, John, that, that even when after 20 years of, of pastoring down in Nashville, Tennessee, when I was invited to serve a church up in the Columbus, Ohio area, we continued vacationing uh, down the Outer Banks. It's about the same distance. And uh, my wife and I just made the decision, you know, to, to purchase a property with the plan of, of someday making that our permanent, permanent home. And fortunate, fortunately, last year, um, that plan became a reality. So Awesome. Good. Well, you mentioned vocational pastor. What does that mean in short? Uh, well, I was a lead pastor uh, where you preached every, every, every week. And, and then I, I slowly transitioned uh, into the role of executive pastor. Normally, it's a in larger church bodies where um, my role, I wore many hats. Uh, I, I, well, that's not going to change in real estate body. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I, I, I believe you. I believe you. Yeah, that's good. Well, that, gave, that brings great experience to the real estate industry as a whole, having that executive pastor role and dealing with you know, large groups or small groups and the like. But what actually brought you to the point where you wanted to sell real estate here on the Outer Banks? Well, um, last year when, when COVID seemed to turn everything upside down, uh, I just sensed it was, it was I, I talked with my wife, we, we we made the decision that, hey, you know what, let's go ahead and, and transition down to our Outer Banks property in Kill Devil Hills earlier than we had initially anticipated. Uh, so I retired from, from pastoral ministry, uh, but I'm not ready to sit around and, and not do anything. And so uh, I, was, I was actively seeking uh, an, you know, something that I would enjoy doing that I felt really aligned with who I am and what I'm all about. And, as a pastor, I'll be the first one to say that, that pastoral ministry begins and ends with developing and maintaining relationships. And uh, I really believe that, that, that selling real estate uh, perfectly aligns with that. That if a, if a broker is not genuinely concerned about the people that he's, he or she are representing, uh, he can't, you know, 
he can't really know their needs and, and adequately represent them. So I think this is going to be a great transition. Well, that's one of the reasons that in our initial interviews is I was so excited. When, and I can tell you, the attention to detail that Bobby brings to the table is great. So if you're looking to make a purchase here, I think you'll find that working with Bobby will be an extreme pleasure because he's going to give you the facts you need to make an informed and educated decision. Because certainly is my interactions with him has been very thorough in every aspect of becoming a realtor here on the Outer Banks. But Bobby, what made you actually choose through the process, because you and I interviewed, um, choose Colony Realty Corporation and Jim Perry here on the Northern Beaches? Well, Colony Realty, as you know, um, managed the property that my wife and I purchased. We, we purchased a property in Collington Harbor, which is in Kill Devil Hills, even though most of our vacationing was done either at Nags Head or in Duck or up in Kerala. Uh, we were looking for uh, a property that was maybe a little bit more off the beaten track uh, in, in an area. It's, uh, Collington Harbor is a, a deep water canal community where a uh, majority of, the, of my neighbors are, are local residents here. So that, that's what drew us there. Oh, awesome. Good. So you already see by his transition going from a pastoral ministry into looking for home vacationing, that he did his research to find out where it was best for he and his family to kind of settle in here. So that, that speaks very highly of his process and how he goes about approaching things. So now that you're on the waterfront in Callahan, what do you like to do in your spare time, Bob? <laughs> well, um, I enjoy uh, fishing and boating. Uh, I am a motorcycle enthusiast, so I, I enjoy exploring all the vast resources that the Outer Banks has to offer. Um, but when everything else is stripped away, uh, I enjoy spending time with family. I enjoy spending time with my wife, Diana. Uh, it's just the two of us now. Of course, our kids have their own kids, and, and they, they love to visit down here, um, and they continue to vacation down here. So um, when they, you know, in fact, I have a, my daughter and her husband, and their three boys are coming down uh, a week from tomorrow, so we're excited, excited for that. But uh, my, our three children and their families are kind of spread out. One is in Tampa, one is in Nashville, Tennessee, and, and one's in Boulder, uh, Colorado. So when they're not visiting us, we'd like to visit them. That's awesome. Well, great. Well, I hope you guys will reach out to Bobby if you're thinking about buying or selling here on the Outer Banks. And let me give you a couple of numbers that you can reach him directly at. The cell phone number is 252-256-0477. Again, that's 252-256-0477. His direct line here at the KDH office is 252-441-3051, extension 5511. And you can reach him at bobby at colonyrealtycorp.com. Again, bobby at colonyrealtycorp.com. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction. We're excited to see uh, the success that Bobby will have in the coming months and years. And we're thankful that he joined our team here at Colony Realty, including Jim Perry and Little River Beaches. And until we see you or at the beach, have a great day. And if you need any information, never hesitate to reach out here at John at ColonyRealtyCorp.com or myself, 252-592-4629, which means for OBX. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.